New York, it's Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Tonight, Mary Tyler Moore, Chris O'Donnell, and musical guest Radiohead with the Max Weinberg 7. Note to self, good day's work, pal. Now, here's your host, Conan O'Brien. First of all, I'm sorry, um, I'm, I'm a little thrown. I, I, I didn't realize that I had to do more than one of these. <laughs> Spend the whole summer, you know, last night was fun. It worked real hard and, okay, they want more. <laughs> all right, I'll try and match last night's energy. <laughs> um, anyway, we, uh, but it was we got through last night, which was a real treat for all of us. We had a good time, and uh, <laughs> we had, of course, I had a lot of people calling me up and saying, asking me questions, you know, things that they wanted to know. And the biggest thing I got is Conan, why the jacket and tie? <laughs> you know, you're 30 years old. What are you doing? Okay, and. There's actually, it's a network suggestion. There's a reason for this, all right? It's a strategy. And it makes sense. It's very smart. The network, uh, the jacket, of course, conveys that I have respect for you, the audience, that I cared, that I made the effort. <laughs> and the tie conveys that I have really crappy taste. <laughs> I love those jokes. <laughs> uh, the network's had a lot of suggestions, actually, about the show. They, um, first of all, they, in the past couple of months, they've been on my case a bit. They say I do too much self-deprecating humor. And uh, you know something? They're right. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> the other thing uh, they said, network suggestion, was they said uh, that I should have my legs lengthened to a freakish degree. <laughs> As you can see, I've taken care of it. <laughs> you like, huh? Nice, huh? America, you like? Come on. <laughs> But despite all these suggestions and people telling me what to do and telling me this and telling me that, I have made a promise that there is one thing that I will not change. And that's my original vision for this show. An hour of the best country music you can find on TV. <laughs> Anyway, we have a 
great show tonight. We really do. We have actress Mary Tyler Moore is here. An icon from the movie Scent of a Woman. We have actor Chris O'Donnell. And we've got musical guest Radiohead, our first musical guest ever. Max, do me a favor, play me over, won't you? You got it. All right. Seven, everybody. Best You're band on TV. Yes. And of course, as always, my friend, the guy who talks to me, and some would say my sidekick, Andy Richter. <laughs> the network testing isn't in yet, Andy. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm trying to shade it a little in my favor already. That's all right. That's I've all been right. writing letters and try. I, I absolutely run out of fake names. <laughs> for, we love Andy. Our whole household. It's going to work out. You'll see. Yeah, oh, I know. I, I know. America's going to embrace you. I can feel right. it in my bones. And if not, I still have the pizza delivery truck <laughs> with the oven in the back. So how's it going? Did you have fun last night, Andy? Oh, I had a great time. Um, I mean, I... There's, <laughs> there's celebrities that come and sit on this couch. And they have to talk to us. And they have to <laughs> talk to us. These guys that look <laughs> way too young. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody had a crazy idea, and uh, and but you get to see him close up, which is 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 actually kind of fascinating for me. My my girlfriend said that uh, she, as she came to the show, and she said that she had a, a tip for me to to not stare at female guest legs. Oh, did, and, were you looking at? Uh... Uh, it was Drew Barrymore, yes. and she said, and she, and I, I try, I said, well, I, 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 and she said, well, I know you weren't being a lech or anything. You looked at them like you were looking at something through a microscope, <laughs> <laughs> which Man. I, I don't know what it means. So tonight, uh, I just like Mary Tyler Moore to know I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> He's gonna behave himself. Yes. Thank you, Andy. That's very good of you. Let's move this thing along. It's time now for tonight's lucky phrase. Now, the lucky phrase is a phrase that uh, might be used in common, everyday dialogue. Now, understand this. If one of tonight's guests utters the lucky phrase, a sign with the phrase on it will drop down from above Festive music will play. The guest will be awarded the sign with the phrase on it. I will be given $100. And Andy will be given a mint. Ha <laughs> ha! And I love mints. <laughs> so, uh, tonight's lucky phrase is... Can we bring that down? Ah. Here we go. Bug off, Terrence. I don't want to hear about your stupid hat. Take wow. it away. Someone, uh, one of our guests should somehow mistakenly say that phrase. All those cool things will happen. We'll have I a great show. Taste the mint already. <laughs> All right. Now you know everyone's talking about this new health care package that President Clinton's pushing. Mm -hmm. You're aware of that, aren't you? Andy? Oh, of course I am. I'm very <laughs> up on such things. Just nod your head a lot. No. <laughs> and I thought that it might be helpful. If we uh, had the president himself come on the show and explain it to us. So 
Will you please welcome, live from our studio in Washington, President Bill Clinton. All right. Welcome, Mr. President. Thanks, Conan. Thanks, Conan. Glad to be here. Nee-haw, Andy! Nee-haw, Bill! Okay, uh, now everyone agrees, Mr. President, that health coverage for all Americans is a great idea, but your plan has drawn criticism for its profound uh, Medicare cutbacks and for its requirement that employees foot most of the bill. Now, won't that hit small business awfully hard? Oh, yeah, it would bash small businesses' brains in, Conan. <laughs> so, uh, so you agree? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sure, if we implement everything I'm suggesting, America will go down in flames. <laughs> I can't believe you're saying this, Mr. President. Oh, hey, I can say whatever I want. I just signed me a peace treaty. <laughs> that was beautiful. All right, well, let that me get was this. beautiful. Did you see that? Yeah, going? we all saw it. Was, it. it was Mr. Arafat, uh, Mr. Uh, the Israeli guy, yeah, and me. We saw it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we saw it. Yeah, you Yeah. <laughs> you seem real pleased about it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, so what you're saying then is that what you're planning is a bad idea. Sure as I'm president, Conan. <laughs> Peace treaty, I love it. <laughs> All right. So uh, the budget cutback, that's not a Don't the health care thing. It's not going to work. Don't worry. I I've come up with a backup plan. All right. Yes, I have a backup plan. It's right. this uh, very generous millionaire I met. Uh, he's got a bunch of money and is willing to help us out. Uh, what's his uh, name? Magoo. <laughs> Mr. Magoo? That's exactly right, Conan. I, I believe his first name is Quincy. Yeah. Uh, some friends in Hollywood put us in touch. Uh, the Bloodworth Thomasons. You find this whole thing amusing. <laughs> you find this whole thing amusing, don't you, Mr. President? Quincy, it's a funny, funny name. <laughs> Quincy, Quincy, Quincy. I could say it all day long. Right, right. Look, now all the, are all the details of this thing getting worked out? Well, well, he's got all this money, uh, Conan, and... Uh, he can't see all that well. Uh, no. Not that his vision really enters into it. Right, right. It gets him into trouble sometimes, yeah, right, I guess. Right. Uh, Mr. President, this all sounds like a really bad idea. Yes, it does. <laughs> but as long as you keep smiling. That's right. Just thinking about that name, Quincy. <laughs> yeah. We are Quincy. Yeah. Listen, hey, hey, hey. What you got there in that mug? Uh, you wouldn't be interested, Mr. President. It's just some yeah. hot, creamy cocoa. Creamy cocoa, I love it. Let's have some. Come on. Bring it over here, man. Don't bogart that coffee mug. All right, here you, here you go, Mr. President. All right. Mr. President, has, has anyone ever told you that you eat like a cat? Hell with it. I'm president. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> you know something, Conan? Yeah? When you're president, you can do anything. Look, look. I, take a look. I got two noses. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, uh, how about I that, huh? I guess that's one of the joys of being president, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right, Conan. That is... <laughs> That and Pete, you know, laughing at the name Quincy. <laughs> That's right, Quincy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have some more cocoa. <laughs> ah, listen, listen, Cole, yeah. don't worry about it. I got some other plans. Uh, maybe, maybe a tax on breakfast. Uh, 
I know a whole lot of, I know a whole lot of people who eat really big breakfast, man. I know I do. Now that wouldn't work. I, I, I'll tell you, Conan, uh, the whole thing's a brain teaser. Screw it. <laughs> you've got, you've got a great attitude, Mr. President. Someone else will figure it out. Yeah, right. Well, why don't you have some more cocoa in All the meantime? Right. There you go. All right, and thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Coming yeah. on the show. Before we get started now, we have a little treat for everyone, a uh, little segment we want to try right now. It's called Celebrity Head on an Animal Body. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that right now. It's very quick and painless. There it is. That looks like uh, Jeff Goldblum on the body of a, what is that, Andy? Uh, that'd be a mule, I believe. Ah, Jeff Goldblum on the body of a mule. Celebrity Head on an Animal Body. And that is trademarked. Excellent. Oh, I just want in on the t-shirt concession. That's all uh, I no want. No kidding. My first guest is nothing less than a television legend. And it is an incredible pleasure to have her on the show. Please welcome an icon in this business, Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> take a little while for the audience to build for people to find you and and join mm -hmm. in and that was certainly true of the van dyke show and my show we came that close to being canceled after that the true? first season really? yeah i wish that you don't have to go a whole season not knowing whether you're going to be renewed or not and as for you andy let's see what you're made of <laughs> Feeling that trick is gonna work every time. <laughs> and I wish you better luck than this. <laughs> oh no! I, I do. I do want to ask you something about uh, Nick at Night has started showing the Mary Tyler Moore yeah. shows back to back, and uh, a whole new generation of people is is coming to appreciate the show well is that, what's that like it's it's wonderful that it's true little kids and um including my husband who is um in, uh years younger than i am and 
friend who had seen the Van Dyke show as a youngster, but had never seen the Mary Tyler Moore show because he was in medical school and doing his residency. Oh. So he's seeing it sort of he for the first see it. time. Where was he? Was it, it was on the moon or something? Well, he was, you know what it's like being a doctor in medical school? No, and, I don't. Well, uh, <laughs> read occasionally. Okay. No, no, no. Now he knows who I am, and it's really exciting. I can get anything I want. <laughs> No, but do you find that that, uh, that all these people now are coming up to you who hadn't seen the show before, young people yeah, and saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and I have the feeling that they're looking at me and saying, what's different about her? Because we're dealing with shows that, you know, were in the Van Dyke Showcase anyway 30 years ago. Right. It's a long time to be a walking, living portrait of Dorian Gray. <laughs> no, but uh, I was, uh, of course, a TV fanatic. That's one of the reasons I'm here, I think. Yeah. That and my mother worked at the NBC commissary. Uh, yeah, that always <laughs> She got me in. But, uh, uh, but... Yeah, I, I, when I was, I remembered very distinctly uh, an early TV memory of mine was watching the Dick Van Dyke show. My mother used to, for lunch, she would rip up strips of bologna and put them in a bowl and just give them to me and say, you know, put, put you in front of a TV set for lunch. We had a lot of kids. No, she's a good, she was a good, good mother, but there were a lot of kids running around and she was off gambling all the time. <laughs> Uh, I remember just sitting there eating strips of bologna in a bowl and, and, and watching, uh, watching you on TV and, and having a crush on you. Oh, God. It's true. I'm so glad I could bring some sunshine into your life. <laughs> well, that's the sad thing, is that then... Uh, no, I, I watched the, uh, the, the Course of Mary Tyler Moore show and... And that ruined my, my dating habits. And, uh, How so? <laughs> well, because I watched a lot of TV, and I remember that night on CBS when, you know, your show was on and Bob Newhart's yeah. show. And that was just a great night of television. No that was. was an amazing night of TV, and I remembered my whole family would sit around and just watch. I think it started with All in the Family early in the evening and, and went to And Carol the, Burnett, I think. Carol Burnett. And... Uh, we just sit there eating strips of bologna. That's all we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> ever had. These were hard times. This was the 1920s. And uh, <laughs> now, but we would uh, we would watch that whole hour of TV, and I, I never learned to never learned to <laughs> you know go out on a date Saturday night. Well, and also because you you never found a girl who measured up to me. Right? Yeah, that's right. Isn't that uh, really I did not. I did not. We're going to have to go away, but we'll be right back with more Mary Tyler Moore. a good time. I hope you are too. I hope. Hey! 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 You better be as good as Letterman! <laughs> well, I'll, I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> that guy. That guy's gonna hound me throughout the run of this show, I think. <laughs> Such a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you look good. Thank you. 
Well, how, what's your secret? What's the? Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's any secret. I like I like clothes, but I don't like to make a big deal out of clothes. God, the other night I was at a party and uh, Terrence Trent Darby. Do you do you know who he is? Yeah, the singer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was sitting next to me and he was going on about what I was wearing and what he was wearing and in such detail. And I finally had to say, "Bug off, Terrence. I don't want to learn, hear about your stupid hat." Yeah. <laughs> You can't fake these moments. No, you can't. <laughs> That's the theme here. No, but uh, no, but uh, thank you for committing to our insane bit. It was my uh, pleasure. And uh, I worked on this for two days. Bug off, Terrence. I don't want to hear about your stupid hat. And still, I muffed it just a little no, bit. No, no. You, hear? you did great. You did oh, great. So, uh, <laughs> did, uh, but, but it, you, we were doing a bit there, of course, but, uh, you do look good, and I understand you, you Thanks. did an, you're doing an exercise video, is I, right? uh, yes, I just did an exercise video, it won't be out until, uh, about a year from January, because they're doing a lot of production on it, and it's going to be sensational, it's, uh, it's 30 minutes of um, aerobics, 30 minutes of body sculpting, as they call it. And right. then the most interesting part, I think, is 30 minutes in the park where we show you how you can use just everyday things to keep in shape. You can walk up steps if they are the incline of a hill. You can, you can grab a tree, lift your leg. You I, can, I do well, a lot of exercise. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't, no, 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 no. You can hold on to a tree right, while right. you're doing leg lifts. No, I do a lot of exercises right here behind the desk. I do you? It. I've been noticing. Yeah, yes. I flex my buttocks constantly throughout the day. It's great, it's isn't my it? secret. So yeah. That's why I appear so calm on camera. Because <laughs> I'm flexing away. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Is this creeping you out, America? He is. Yeah. I can see. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, dear. <laughs> Andy, I have to ask, did you have a crush on, on Mary when you were watching TV Why as did? a child? Why did? Why the past tense? Do you have a crush on Mary? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mary. I had... I had I actually, from the Dick Van Dyke show, I had a crush on Sally Rogers. <laughs> but I, and I, I think it's because her voice sounded like my dad's. <laughs> oh, that's such a weird, They're I don't know what that fitting. means. <laughs> I don't know either. So many disturbing. <laughs> Continue with your interview. Thank um, you, Andy. <laughs> But, uh, so this exercise video, yes. it's going well? Yeah, it is. What made you think of an exercise video? Um... <laughs> Come on, all these celebrities do exercise videos. Well, I Why? know, but I thought, well, because I have a dancer's background. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I thought, well, I better do it now while I can still hold in my stomach. And I think I've got, between now and next year, I may be able to carry it off. Um, did you begin as a dancer? I started as a chorus so, dancer. You used to, yeah. uh, you did a lot of dancing actually in the Dick Van Dyke show. The Dick Van Dyke show. Yeah. show, yes, we did. We danced and, um, and I thought I'd bring some of my knowledge of what is good about dance and what is bad about dance. And we know so much about it now from right. the 
President's Council on Fitness and um, Sports Medicine and the studies they're doing, it shows that you don't have to do more than about a half an hour a few times a week to stay in shape. Right. So I'm hoping that uh, this will help people find somebody with whom they can identify and get out there and do it. Sounds good. Yeah. I won't, of course. Uh, no, I know. I don't expect you to. I can't You're exercise. You're only 30 years old, is it, did you say? If these days, 30 is old. It is. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I walk around and all I see all these kids, these rock and rollers with their long hair and their crazy ideas. And I know. Yeah. <laughs> they say, hey, old man. No. No, I guess it is to be on TV and I look about... 22 people Actually, keep you TV. look a lot older than 30. <laughs> and I mean that in a very positive way. In a good way. way. Yes, in a good, in a way. good way. I think my voice is a problem. I've got an annoying voice. No. Don't I, America? <laughs> Yay! Annoying voice. All right, well, uh, listen, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show. I had a, a great time. I, I guess you're going to move down I... the couch, but uh, thank you for oh, coming. Thank you for car. playing into our nonsense. <laughs> Sunday, September 19th, is the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation's Walk for the Cure. Oh. Call your local chapter for more information, and we will be right back. Thank you. <laughs> show and as a new show uh, we are, we're trying some new things and uh, one of the things we thought we'd try tonight was why not just go into the audience and talk to them hear some of their stories all right because you try and fill five nights a week <laughs> <laughs> when you've never done it before <laughs> so uh, what's the anyone here have a nice story from you have a story yeah. from out of town all right here we go Go. You have a story. Your name is Ernie. Hi. Good to see you. How are you? Good. Where are you from? Uh, New Jersey. And you came all the way from New Jersey <laughs> to see this show. That's very nice of you. What do you do? Uh, I'm a student. Okay. And you have a story to tell. Yeah. Um, I took the bus here to New York, and uh, as I was walking to this. Okay. Uh... <laughs> This is a TV show. This is seen by people. <laughs> Please try and refrain from using that language. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> All right? Not really. I mean, I'm trying to appeal to a lot of different kinds of time, and I'm hoping that some kids would be watching. So just, uh, <sighs> just tell the story and, and remember that you're on TV, okay? All right, go ahead. All right. I was walking here, and as I was... So, um, well, let me get this straight. You're a sailor. Uh, you're on shore leave. This is the way you talk. Uh, now, listen, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I, thank you very much, but this is a TV show. I'm sorry. Could you just have a seat? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is there a... Is there anyone else here who has a, a story? Anyone? Anyone here have a story? Anyone at all? A story? You, uh, you want to? Go ahead. You have a story. What's your name? Al Clausen. Oh, good to see you. Where are you from? San Diego. San Diego. All the way from San Diego? Yes. <laughs> Just for this, right? Uh, not quite. I came for the U.S. Open. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, um, now you have a story to tell. Uh, I'd like to hear it. 
Well, I'm one of the uh, on-court officials at the U.S. Open, or I was when it ended Sunday, and uh, during the... <sighs> I, I don't know. I, <laughs> you guys are friends, apparently, and this is your idea of a joke. It's a TV show, people. It's got to appeal to kids. Do you have anything else to add? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, really. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't know, uh, Andy, Andy, I mean, what do you think is the problem with these people? Conan, I don't know what the f*** going on. <laughs> I'm very sorry, America, I'm very sorry. We'll be back with Chris O'Donnell. Stick around. winning actress Mercedes Rule, former campaign advisor to George Bush and current co-host of Equal Time on CNBC, Mary Madeline. And from MTV's The Big Picture, Chris Connolly. So watch that show. All right. My next guest played opposite Al Pacino in Scent of a Woman, and you can see him in the upcoming film The Three Musketeers. Please welcome Chris O'Donnell. as much water as you want. Is that my water? All yeah. Right. I like that. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah. I like this. This is, this is cool. I've never uh, been in this building before, you know. It's... Yeah. I'm new at this. <laughs> this I'm is... new here, too. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> no, I... <laughs> you know, I've never missed your show, but though. I... Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> I watch you all the time. All right. All right. Hey, uh... No, it's... I didn't realize this is, this is pretty big. A lot of people out there. Of course, there's a few more at home, I guess. So. Oh, yeah. These are mostly my relatives. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, you come from a big family like Yeah, me, so. I do, yeah. Because I got Irish mine over Catholic. there. Where are yours? They're the ones that are looking at yours kind of angrily. <laughs> All righty. Uh, no, you're from uh, what, Chicago. Ah, uh, really? Well, how many in your family? I'm the youngest of seven. Wow, I mean, uh, yeah. middle of six. Gotcha. I was I the won. attention star freak. <laughs> Were you? I'm the one lost in the middle trying to f define my role. I need a talk show to feel better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? <laughs> you know, I thought I was spoiled. Jeez, I never got a talk show though. It's... No, but you're, you're the young. <laughs> you're the you're the young one. You were the. I'm the baby. Yeah. Because we just beat the crud out of the little one in our family. <laughs> <laughs> well. We got a lot of sisters, so. Oh, so it worked they out. We got a lot of back massages, so. <laughs> Too much. But do you, uh, I was noticing uh, in, uh, you're doing this movie right now. You just did The Three Musketeers. Right. And you're doing it with, like, Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland, Charlie and Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Uh, and my that. first thought when I read that was, you guys aren't like turning in right away after the day's shoot, are you? Uh, <laughs> well, they, they, like they, a glass of warm milk and then no, it's some well, cherry pie. I was taking it kind of easy most of the time, but uh, no, they they like definitely like to have a good time. It, they're really good guys. You know, we had a real good time, all of us. But the, 
you know, it's it's not like college when you go out and party because when you're in college, it's you know you've got twenty bucks for the night, this and that. It's a little different when you're you're going out with these guys who've been in all these movies because you know money really isn't. Isn't, yeah, okay, a, you can have as much fun as you want, I guess, but it's, uh... <laughs> right. Now, Charlie we, Sheen we, doesn't say, I'll just have half a sandwich, huh? <laughs> no. It'll be okay, really. You can eat it. No, we, we had a great time, though. It was, it was a lot of fun. We were over in uh, Vienna, Austria. Uh-huh. So. And you all had, behaved. Had a lot of strudel and schnitzel and <laughs> this and that. My that sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And those guys, uh, there was no problem. There was no uh, no fights broke out. No crazy brawls. No. Well, I had to knock them around a couple of times. No, <laughs> they. Uh, no, there there were no no fights. We, uh, we had a good time. Charlie, yeah, I wouldn't. Did you see hot shots? Uh, yeah. Yeah. God, he looks like Rambo now. He's a pretty big guy. I wouldn't. <laughs> Pumped up. Yeah. I'd stay away from that. I want to take them. <laughs> I just think you know, I can do it. I don't care, you know. <laughs> I got a show now and my head's gone crazy. <laughs> I think leg I can wrestling, do it. maybe? Yeah, leg wrestling would be nice. Uh, but, um... I'm surprised you didn't, you know, have Mary and I challenge each other, but... I wasn't going to say up. anything. Okay. <laughs> it's all been arranged. That's all we do on this show is leg wrestle. <laughs> but uh, but you're still in college. Yeah, right? well, I'm trying. I just started back up this semester. Uh, I, I go to Boston College. Right. And, uh, hey. Small world. Uh, but I just started up this semester. Well, I haven't actually started. I've only been to one class. I'm about... <laughs> About a week late, so I got to get out. That's where I'm going tomorrow is to try and find an apartment and, you know, get up there and get some classes lined up. And... But really, you're you're serious about that? You're, you're well, committed to it? I mean, what happens when the dean turns on the TV and you and Charlie Sheen are, you know, hanging out of a window in Strasburg or something? Well, <laughs> if, if that happens soon, we're in, we're in trouble, because if the film goes to video that quick, we're not going to be... Uh, <laughs> we're not going to sit. Uh, no, I... But it's easy, it's, you can focus I, I on it. Want to keep, I definitely want to keep working, and, uh, you know, if, if something good comes up, I'll do it. But the, the thing is, I, sh I, I really want to, to graduate. It's not like, you know, I'm not going to be out interviewing with Morgan Stanley or E.F. Hutton next week or something. I just right. would like to, uh, you know, get what my do you, degree. What do you want to study? What are you studying? I'm studying marketing. So. Are you really going to go into marketing? No. I mean, I think... <laughs> I think you're doing the right thing now. It's like, I gotta get out of this movie thing and get into marketing. Uh, no, I, I... What are you doing? Andy should go into marketing. <laughs> Andy! Marketing with yes. a video coming we could out. Look up. We could, I could market your new video. All right. Or what? I get a good cut of it. What's marketing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, all right. <laughs> You're here with me. I'll take good care of you. Okay. <laughs> um, Give them a miss. <laughs> but uh, but what, what, what's the biggest thing that so far? I mean, was it working with Al Pacino? Was that like the Obvious, was that the coolest thing that you've yes, yeah. done so far in your career? Probably. I mean, yeah, I, he's a pretty unbelievable person to work with. I mean, I would have been happy just to have done, you know, a scene with a guy. Right. And I got to do this whole film with him, so it was, uh, it was a great experience. I haven't seen him in a while, but... You haven't seen him since? Well, he's... Would he's you like not, to he's talk to Los him Angeles, now? Though, so I'm gonna... You know, he's right here. Al Pacino? <laughs> Pacino, we... Yeah, Mr. Pacino would, uh... <laughs> Thought you might want to say something to your old friend. Who? -ah. <laughs> Chris, uh, come on, don't you have anything to say to him? <laughs> You haven't seen Chris in a while, have you? 
How does he look? He told me he's going to be in L.A. I don't know. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> How's he look to you? Does he look all right? Ooh-ah. <laughs> Ooh-ah. <laughs> you got anything else to say, Al? Bug off, Terrence. I don't want to hear about your stupid act. Uh, no. <laughs> you missed the vote on that one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> We'll be right back with Radiohead. Thank you very much. My next guests have taken self-loathing and raised it to an art form. We offered them several images to play in front of, and they chose really slow cars. So please welcome our very first musical guests, and I really like these guys, Radiohead.
My guest, Chris O'Donnell. Thank you very much. Mary... <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore, thank you very much. Andy, thank you for being here. I want to thank Radiohead, Andy Richter, and uh, the Max Weinberg 7. I had a good time. Please come back. We'll see you. Mm -hmm.